Hi guys, happy new year. It is happy new year, I think. Jerry's still out on it, I'm still deciding. I just thought I would share with you a little of the craziness of my life. So, I don't know how many of you realize this, maybe I haven't told you, I've decided to RV in Idaho for the winter. So, my new house is in the winter in Boise, in Napa actually. I'm staying at my, my best friend and her husband have five acres that they're letting me, letting me park out. But I don't have the uh, septic connection. So I have to unpack and, and move everything every three weeks and go dump the black water. And um, it's been freezing cold here. Coldest, coldest temperatures yet this season have happened this week. So I'm trying to keep the underbelly of the motorhome from freezing. And I'm not doing a very good job of it. But we finally, I finally had some help and skirted. We skirted the bottom of the motorhome and we're doing it in a temporary way so that I can unhook everything and haul it off and move it out of the way when I have to go plug in and um, actually when I have to go dump all the black water. So what an adventure this has become. Making sure that my, my heat is running, making sure that it's above freezing temperatures under the motorhome, windy, freaking windy cold today. Um, gotta show you that. So I had, I had these little plastic grippers on the, on the steps and I came out today just like, I don't know, okay, 10 minutes ago. And they, they slipped off. I slipped completely out of the motorhome. <laughs> like, really just fell. I fell all the way, all the way out of the motorhome. Eh, my ankle hurts a little bit, but you know, if you those of you that know me know that I fall down all the time. So really, I'm kind of used to it. All right, the project that I'm doing right now, I just got to share with you guys. I got to have this on on a way that someone can remember it because to be an electrician i'm learning to be an electrician today so one of my breakers this one is only 15 amp service and i have I have these heaters i have a heater over there that little heater right there i have a heater in my bedroom and i also have a teapot and i have a hair dryer and a curling iron and all the things and I keep blowing the breaker. So I decided today that I'm gonna learn how to be an electrician. Change the 15 amp breaker to a 20 amp breaker. So I got these two breakers. One of them was $14 and the other was $32. We're gonna give it a try and see which one works. I just wanted to tell you guys, this is my life. This is my crazy freaking life. I have spent I have spent the better part of the last two weeks trying to keep this motor home from freezing and it's still frozen. My water pump is frozen. My breakers are breaking. I mean, all, all the, all the shit is happening. And, um, for those of you that get offended by my swearing, Jesus and I are going to be working on that this year. I love, I love Jesus, but I love to swear. And, and this life of mine is making me swear even more. So I'm going to learn to be an electrician today and I'm going to try really hard to stop swearing on the process. I just really want you guys to know life isn't going to be easy. It's not easy. <laughs> Nothing about this life is easy. It was never promised us to be easy. And I think the lesson that we need to take with us is that life's not going to be easy, but how are we going to deal with it? Are we going to cry? Are we going to sit in the fetal position and suck our thumb, which, you know, I don't suck my thumb anymore, but I used to until I was in fifth grade, but I do crawl into the fetal position sometimes and I do like to cry. Crying for me is my therapy, but we can't stay there, right? What's my message been from day one? Feel the feels, spend the time you need to spend there, but get in, get out, get over it. Life isn't going to be easy, so figure out how are you going to deal with it. It's a brand new year. Shit's going to happen. Stuff's going to fly off. You're going to break stuff as you go. You're going to live in a freezing cold lifestyle sometime or another, whether it's freezing cold emotionally or freezing cold physically. It's not going to be easy. And don't be mad when it isn't easy. Don't, don't be devastated. Don't be ruined when it isn't easy. Just figure out how to get over it. What do you got to do to move past it? And then move on. Because there's going to be something tricky the next around the next corner, around the next bend. There's going to be feelings. There's going to be a broken heart. There's going to be a stubbed toe. There's going to be something. And 
I don't think our job in life is to be sad and ruined and broken every time something something happens. I think our job in life is to persevere. How are we going to get over it? What are we going to do? Are we going to let the little things break us or are we going to let them make us stronger? And I don't know about you guys, but I am getting to be so strong. And there are times I want to quit and cry. Last week, I, we could not get the motorhome figured out. I could not... I could not get it figured out. I tried different heaters. I tried different different things. I even tried a kerosene heater, you know, the big shop ones that will warm up everything. Well, um, I woke up at 5 in the morning from the smell of kerosene. I was giving myself carbon monoxide poisoning. <coughs> Today, I'm falling out of the motorhome. The other day, I had carbon monoxide poisoning. Who knows? In five minutes, I might be electrocuted, but <laughs> I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out, and so are you. So, 2022, it's a new year. It's a new life. It's new you, new year, new you. I don't know. To me, same me, stronger, better, stronger, 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 stronger. I'm going to be more resilient. I'm going to be more more happy. I'm going to look at the positives more. I'm not going to be devastated by the little things. At least I'm going to try really hard not to be devastated for long. (laughs) If you got to be devastated, just don't pack. Don't camp there. Don't stay. So um, there's my little message. I'm sorry that I haven't been in touch with you guys. I haven't done any updates for a while. Um, Life has just kind of been pretty okay. Pretty good. Aside from freezing, life is good. There's a few little things that still bring tears to my eyes and still break my heart. Um, When I look over the year of 2021 and all the heartbreak and all the devastation and the loneliness, the fear, the questioning, the doubting, all the things. It's just another day in the life. It's just another year in the life. So this year's going to be better. I'm going to be stronger. I know that all of you are going to be stronger. You're going to be better. And um, look for big things coming from me. I have started coaching, resiliency coaching, and I have a couple of clients so far. I think things are really going to be good for all of us, every one of us. I don't know what you're doing this year, what your goals are, but I urge you to set some goals. And if you find yourself floundering or camping out too long in the heartache, then um, reach out to someone. Reach out to me. I, I promise you I can help you get through it. I promise you I can make you laugh in the process. And I promise you you'll feel so much more strength on the other side. So whether it's me, whether it's your best friend, your mom, your dad, your whoever, your person, call someone and, and make yourself accountable to making 2022 a better year for you. It's going to be a better year for me, I know for sure. Big things are on the horizon. Watch for big things from me. And if I can help you, um, just let me know. Let me know. I'm here. I'm here for all of you. And and I'm not talking monetarily. I'm here for you. Because um, I'll tell you one thing. If all the pain in my life hasn't been for one, for anything, it's been to um, to help others. It's been to bring glory to God. And in the pain that I've been through, the lessons that I've learned, they're there for a reason. And I think my reason is you, all of you, every one of you. So there it is. All right. It's not, a, it wasn't meant to be a commercial. It was meant to be I I just fell out of my motor home and guess what I'm doing next? I'm going to light myself on fire when I blow up my, my electrical panel. Just kidding. It's all going to be good. I'm going to be fine. All right. I love you guys. Make 2022 your best year yet. Have a great day. It's Monday. It's a start. It's the first Monday of a new year. Don't fall into old patterns. Get up. Do something different. Any movement forward is forward movement. All right. I love you. God bless you. Make it a great day. Make it a great week and have a wonderful year. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye.